Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the INO, MRGHT. What up, Joni? Oh, dude, you know, it's uh, just another fun time for recording podcasts for all these people listening. <laughs> That's what they do. We record and they listen. Do they? <laughs> well, they probably turned do, it off now, but they, they were they were listening until I said that. Oh, man. So, but thank you so much for joining us today, as always, on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media, subscribe there for that. Or uh, we're on Spotify and iTunes and then SoundCloud, all those other places you can find the podcast. Just search Crazy Town Podcast. This guy, he's on Twitch. D&D Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day, 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock central a.m. Uh, TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Come and hang out with your boy love. Yeah, dude. Sometimes he pulls it out. Wait, what? <laughs> I've never been on camera. <laughs> I've never even been on camera. He doesn't. Yeah, I've, he doesn't even go on camera. I've, I've contemplated it, though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, with your with your with with the mask we wore on the videos? No, you know, I've actually thought about going on just like full face reveal because I find that I don't swear whenever I'm doing just like just okay. like I'm just streaming, I don't swear. Okay, don't say anything ignorant. Don't say anything. Don't get all. I've been conditioned by YouTube. I know, right? Yeah, like remember when we used to just do the podcast and we were foul mouth and sell. Then we get on YouTube, yeah. then we swear like a motherfucker, and then and then we're like, we want to advertise a video, and they're like, every video <laughs> denied for our content. We're like, okay, we gotta stop swearing. It's true, and, and not then, to, uh, not to mention at work, I don't swear either. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, kinda, I, I kind of can't. I feel like. I don't even swear anymore. I was gonna say I feel like the pod- podcast cast is the most I swear yeah, ever anymore. Yeah, like or if you hang out with friends, I guess like if like you're just hanging out with a friend, like you get to talking and drinking. You're like, oh da da da, this shit, that shit, you know. But I still don't. I probably don't swear as much as I used to. I know I don't. I don't talk as much as I in the period. All so. your like, I dude, honestly, probably like sixty percent of your talking is on these YouTube videos. Uh, in podcasts. Yeah, I talk a lot at work though. But like I said, I can't swear there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So what do yeah, you man. What, what what do you whoa whoa? I was gonna come in with a hot take. Let's dude. go, do it up. Okay, man. Uh, hit him with the, hit him hard. Have you ever have you ever heard voices inside your head talk to you? Like Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> has, has Jesus Christ, our Savior, ever come and spoke to you in your dreams? Yeah, you talking about Jesus? Talk about, have you ever had, have you, like, schizophrenic or anything? Like, voices, dude, like, no. kill Jonas, stand outside his room with an axe. No. Like, when you do that, it's not a voice tone. I kind of feel like I don't even have an internal dialogue, to be honest. Really? No. Because, like, I do, for sure. Well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, Because, like, so. if I'm thinking in my head, it's like I'm talking to myself, essentially. Is it? Yeah, isn't that how... What do you do to think? I don't know. I just thought it was just like machinations. I just kind of sit there and I just contemplate. And I'm like, well, man, I guess I do kind of. Yeah. yeah, you're talking to yourself inside your head. Because I'm then, speaking in English. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I've always, okay, I'll get to another point in this in a second. <laughs> right. It's like... um. But I sometimes I talk to myself if I'm home. Like I, instead of it being internal, I'll just like be speaking out loud. But I'm not like talking to myself like a crazy person. It'll be like having that internal dialogue coming out of your mouth. Okay. I mean, I, I respect and, it. And some people do that. Like, I don't do it all the time or if I'm around, but I'll catch myself being like, da, 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 just okay, what do you got to do? You got to, like, just, you know, just like, but um, <laughs> what I've always thought is people who speak more than one language, what what language is yes, their internal dialogue? Yeah. Like, if, you, if your main language is Spanish, do you speak English or Spanish or is it, you It's know? probably, it may even be a combination of the two. Yeah, Which would be kind of neat. Would be, yeah, it would be strange. I would like my American version to meet my Spanish version. Yeah, dude. Yeah. To meet my external version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all that, all that pulling in together. <laughs> so, all right. There was a woman in London. She um, had no previous mental health issues. She's never, never had been, had any sort of depression, anything. 5G towers. Yeah. All of a sudden, the 5G <laughs> comes out. No. And, uh. She, all of a sudden, one day out of nowhere, Mm -hmm. heard voices in her head, and the voice said to her, don't be afraid, I'm a friend who wants to help you. And that's really all it said, and it scared the shit out of her. 
Oh, dude, I love scary stories. Yeah, dude. like right. So like she's like, "What the hell is this voice? Am I going insane? Am I schizophrenic? Am I you know?" Because you that's what you say about schizophrenia yeah, yeah. is like you hear all these voices in your head of yeah. other personalities or whatever, you know. Yeah. So they said, um, "What happened is you know she, she went and talked to like a uh, psychiatrist or a therapist or someone had treatment. Yeah, and just kind of said, hey." I had a voice literally in my head go, because it would be weird if like all of a sudden like a female voice is inside your head and was like, TNT, don't go to work today. And you're like, I'm not going. You're like, what the fuck? I'm not <laughs> going. I'm sorry. I got to call off. Right. Like it would be, I, I would be scared as shit. Like, yeah. you know, or I heard like a voice that wasn't mine in my head being like, don't buy avocados this week. And I'd be like, holy shit, I'm not going to do that. You know, <laughs> whatever. That's the thing is that you're, you're implied to listen to the voice. Cause you're like. What the hell is this? Yo, this voice means business. Right, exactly. This voice has some insider knowledge <laughs> that I don't in this avocado situation. Right, exactly. And it's trying to help me. Right, for real. So so she went to treatment. She went to counseling. You know, she she felt okay. It didn't happen. Whatever. So um, it said a little while later, uh, she was on vacation with her husband and she said when she was on vacation she was away from home she lives in london so she was like somewhere i don't know where she was in france or something two voices spoke in her head and told her that something was wrong and she needed to go home immediately and she needed to go to this address oh man the voices are costing me money now right 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 so and they gave her like an address that she needed to go to um so she convinced her husband to take her home because obviously she felt scared or whatever. Sure. Like, can you imagine being like with your with your girl, your wife, and you're like you're like on a vacation, and she's like the voices in my head just told me we gotta go home. So Yo, I'm wrong. dumping this bitch. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I am. There's no way some chick is gonna tell me she heard voices. And I'm barefoot with my feet up. <laughs> you're on the beach and your beach with a with a cocktail. And she's like, we gotta go home. Why? Because the voices told me to. Yo, can you see the eye that her husband gave her? He just gave her that kind of like, bitch, are you serious? <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> oh man, so, it's time to get a divorce. The uh the address that the the voices gave her was a um was a uh Im- a imaging center, a medical imaging center. So she went to the address, got a scan, and they found a tumor in her fucking head. Really? Yes, and she did whatever it needed to happen. Whether I don't, the story didn't really say whether she had surgery or if it was cancer, and she had chemo. She she got better from the tumor, huh. and she said then after that was all done, the voices spoke to her one more time and said, "We are pleased to have helped you. Goodbye." And she'd never heard from him again. Get the fuck out right, of here! I was like, "Are you, what the fuck?" Like, get the fuck out of so here! So yeah, she she no mental health issues. They came to her and said, "Hey, we're your friend. Don't be afraid." Came to her later, said, "Get to the fucking hospital." They found a tumor, and after it was all done, we're like, "Hey, we're glad we could help you. Talk to you later. Bye." Okay, who do you what do you think this is, Jonas? If this is like legit, because I mean, she had the tumor, so either so either she made the whole story up about how she found the tumor. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, dude. Like, is that like supernatural ghost shit? Is that, is it, is that Jesus? Is that Jesus? Is it like the <laughs> is is it the tumor pressing on the part of her brain that just made her like <laughs> talk? I don't know, dude. Uh all right, so like the story when it's put to you like this, we're not taking into con- into concern some of the things. So she could have saw the place. Like maybe it could have all like okay. So like here's maybe. the thing: if you've never had any mental health issues, and all of a sudden a voice talks to you, that's weird. where did that come from? Yeah. So that's the first thing. The second is you're on fucking vacation, and the thing tells you to go home and go to a surgery center. See, but the thing is, is that like I said, we're not taking into everything. Maybe she was like, maybe I have a brain tumor. I've been doing some research online. Right, right, And it right. says that brain tumors. And then she's like, she sees the medical imaging place on her way to work. Or, because or maybe was, she researched it because she heard voices. Maybe I have a tumor in my head. Maybe yeah. I'm fucked up. Maybe something's wrong. And then wrong. all of a sudden she's hearing things like, I really need to just go to this place. Right. And she manifested it herself. Yeah, possibly. I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean, the original voice came from somewhere. Yeah, you know, I mean the tumor, <laughs> <laughs> right? Probably right? the tumor. Yeah. So, 
So I read that story and I was like, I was like, dude, this is fucked up. Like, I like the supernatural though, man. I like, I like kind of like losing myself in it, but I 100% think that she probably just like was like, maybe I have a tumor. Yeah. Because if I start hearing voices, I'm Googling that shit. I would think that I would think if I heard voices, I would hope that I had a tumor and I wasn't going schizophrenic. Yeah. It would be better to like, I think to like, I don't know, dude. I in don't fact, know. if you are at home now, I want you to Google I'm hearing voices in my head. Don't worry. Don't go incognito. They're yeah, going to yeah. find out anyway. <laughs> and then see what you come up with. Right. Because it, I guarantee you that if I'm hearing voices in my head, why? You're going to see something about a tumor in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's oh I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't think this is the first time it's happened. Uh, but yeah, I mean, amazing. Yeah, amazing. It, it, the story really like I was just like this is crazy enough to talk about on the podcast. Whether it's whether it it like she <laughs> finangled the whole goddamn thing or not. Yeah, man. At least hopefully she was just smart enough to get her fucking self checked out, man. Because if I start hearing voices, I'm doing everything in my power to stop those voices. Yeah, dude. Like, oh my god, I don't know what I would do if like. It's like people who never have heard voices, like, I don't even think we can fathom what it's like to have, like, like a voice in your ear going, like, kill them. Have you ever heard voices? No. You know, I have a, I have a, uh, a person from my past that, that I can swear to God that he heard voices. And I don't know if they were his own voice in his own mind, but I think that he was hearing things that were outside of his what do you call that like self con subconscious yeah or? just like just out of his own consciousness it was like it would battle with some of his own like just ideas of what was happening out there in the real world now i didn't I, like how do you even help the person like that well, right because they know. they think it's real yeah and like it's and that's like you know people with multiple personality disorders you have like literally yes. like two people living in your head it's like two you have two inner voices yes and I, they're battling each other inside your head that would that's drive me fucking crazy yeah, dude oh my yeah, god yeah. if i had my my own voice and there was like another like guy in my head that was just like an asshole and you were like oh man you need to go get groceries today and he's like you're a bitch and you're like what <laughs> like, yeah, you should go over and stab that man yeah, i'm going to the fucking grocery store go stab your friend and you're like what the fuck? I need I need to go get some potatoes. And they're like, fuck potatoes, bitch. Go stab your friend. And you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> I use the term cognitive dissonance a lot, but I think that maybe cognitive dissonance is us arguing with our own internal dialogue. Yeah. I because mean, it's like, I really want to quit smoking, but I can't quit smoking. Yeah, maybe it's like, I just don't know. It's like, I couldn't even imagine having, it's like, it would just be, and no wonder those people go insane. Because like, if you're fighting yourself in your own head all the time, that yeah. is very mentally taxing. I should really go get a Baconator. You don't need a Baconator. Yeah, but you, everybody needs a Baconator. If you have not had the don't Baconator. Don't go advertising Wendy's breakfast. Dude, it's so good. I would eat it for dinner. Don't go advertising Wendy's breakfast for dinner. Wendy's, we will do it. <laughs> Wendy's, they treat you right, dude. Wendy's, if they Wendy's Brought paid, to you. Wendy's would just could just give me free baconators, and I would talk Yo, about them all the time. We should approach them. About Their Twitter doing a, is very like happening. Exactly, approach them about doing a sponsorship to our podcast. Like, listen, every episode we'll talk about the baconator if we can get one free a week. Yeah, I take one a week free for that. Wait, no, I want cash. One Baconator a week free? Can that I, is cash. That ain't cash. That's just that's the heart attack. Yeah, but you want that. I don't want a heart attack. You want Baconator every week? <laughs> I want cash more. Well, this is going to be the cash equivalent. You're going to be like, how many listens to your podcast do you have? you be like, that's not relevant. I just yeah. want money. I just want $4 a week. $4? That's <laughs> a Baconator, right? Yeah, I guess so, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus. But, uh... Yeah, man. If you come up with any more supernatural stories, I'll be happy to take all of the wind out of them and deconstruct them down into this lady is just bullshitting. She had a tumor, so of course she made up some story. Yeah, no. maybe she, maybe she knew she had a tumor. Mm. Yeah, and I'm gonna look want... it up too. I am. I'm not gonna do it right now. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm I mean, just gonna. That wouldn't be productive for us talking. On Absolutely. Podcast. You're like not. doing research on your phone. It's doing, fine. It's fine. Doing your due diligence, finding out insider knowledge. I can't, yeah, you know what? But I, I honestly do feel like I guess I do kind of argue with myself sometimes. I try to. I try to like uh, devil's advocate, 
my way through things where I like see it from another person's point of view. Yeah, I try to do that too, but I wouldn't call that arguing with myself. Well, it goes against my initial my initial response, like my knee jerk response, and like I'm like, oh, you know. I think that's logical thinking. Is that just logical I think you're thinking? Like, hey, I want to spend two hundred dollars on this, and then your 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 like logical brain goes. Is this something that you need? Do you have two hundred dollars to spend on this? Like it isn't like it isn't like a counterintuitive like I need two hundred dollars for a broom and they're like kill someone with that broom. Like it's not like so these extreme when, like when does it get into being a problem? Because we're talking about what is this egos versus pathos? I think uh, yeah, not hundred percent. Sure. Sure. But, but I don't know. Dude. No, it, egos, I think pathos, it's a problem pathos. when it's trying to get you when when like it is interfering with your life just like anything else like you can smoke crack if you smoke crack and you can go to work and you ain't blowing all your money and you're doing everything you need to do i mean i guess you're a functional crackhead dude but like if you're smoking crack and you're selling your teeth and you, and you can you're missing work and you're like sleeping all the time you know while well, you wouldn't be sleeping you you know your teeth are falling out of your head then that's the problem <laughs> if you're, but I really want to smoke crack right dude or, or like is that a problem it's like it's like drinking people are like do I have a drinking problem? Do Are you able to function without uh, drinks? If you are drinking, are you able to function in your normal life and not have any problems and not have any ill will to what you're doing? Then it's not really a problem. I mean, the kind of liver damage and all. Yeah, yeah. And now, I mean, there's exceptions to every rule, but it's like, I feel like anything in moderation that is not disturbing your life in a negative fashion is not technically a problem. All right, well, we're not talking about addiction or problems. We're talking about what point... Okay, so... I really like smoking crack. All right. <laughs> okay. Take away the inherent bad parts about smoking right. crack. Okay. It's, nobody clipped that statement either. <laughs> You're do, okay. do, not, really like that. do not take that out of context. <laughs> Make a janky right? soundboard. So there's no <laughs> negative. Really like They've got this new form of crack. Gets you just as high as normal crack. Uh, doesn't, but none of the calories. All right, none of the bad effects of crack. Okay, it's like it's like a perfect it's, crack. Yes, it's vegan crack. Okay, all right. I really like smoking. You can't crack. overdose. You can't die. You can't. Yes. Okay. I'm not doing it to the point where it hurts anybody or anything, but yet I should probably stop, only because I feel like I could save the money. Yeah. Or. Or you're not cleaning your house because you're get, you're smoking crack instead. But see, you you keep taking it to the negatives. I want to know at what point in my mind should I stop? Should I listen? What part of your mind should oh, you listen no, to? If you're, Is if, it just okay. the maladaptive Here, part? Here's where it becomes a problem. Say you want to buy a pair of jeans. Well, I want. I like the crack, but okay. We'll get, we'll get back to a more normal situation. So, like, you want to, or no, no, here you go. You want to take a, you want to, just, you want to go to the store and look for a shirt because yes. you want to go out tonight and you want a shirt. If you're sitting at home and arguing with yourself so long that you never go to the store nor get ready in time to go out, that's a problem. But see, it keeps going back into maladaptive, which is why I'm trying to figure out is it just if it manifests itself on the external, it's a problem. But does it when it manifests itself on the internal, where there's a problem? Well, but if you're sitting there battling inside your head and not doing anything but battling on whether you should go get a shirt, that's a problem. Okay. If it takes you four hours to, and then you still don't even know if you're going to go get the shirt or this, not. This coming from the man who talks, talks about, about food. <laughs> talks about what he wants to eat for eight fucking hours a day and then gets nothing. Yep. Makes a fucking burrito in the kitchen. Discussed eight different restaurants. Looks them up on Pornhub. I mean, gr <laughs> oh, yeah. Grubhub. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was a Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of restaurants you find on Pornhub? Yo, they got the best eats. <laughs> no pun intended. But yes, coming All from juice. a man who would literally be like, man, what do I want? Do I want pizza? Pizza sounds good. Yeah, I should get some pizza. No, dude, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> then I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm just going to have some time. I'm just going to get some chicken and make a wrap in the kitchen. <laughs> I know. And that's like six hours later. Yeah, dude. But it doesn't, I'm not, it's not keeping me from doing anything else. See, but like I said, if I'm not talking about when it manifests itself necessarily on the outside, even though I guess it kind of always goes back to that. I guess if... You are battling with yourself to the point where it causes you mental duress. Yeah. Is where I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Um, I've experienced that occasionally. Yeah. But I guess even like, I guess when you when you think about it, even depression or anxiety does that. Oh, Be yeah. Because you get negative self-talk in your head. 
Yeah. And it's 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 a it's the same. Oh, I mean, it's almost the same see, thing. There we like, go. You get depressed and then you're like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve that. No, blah, 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 whatever you're thinking, negative shit that you're going on, or you're just anxious. Like, does this like? Oh, I have all this stuff to do, and I how am I going to get all this stuff done? Or oh my god, did, what did that person think of me? Like whatever you know, or it's like that's that can cause wow. enough internal distress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that that well, that's more that can lead to a physical manifestation, but that's still along the lines where I'm getting. That's that mental health shit, man. We we should have a mental health episode, Jonas. I'm in. Where we just you come clean about all your. Oh, I'll talk about my depression. Give absolutely. me all your dirt. I will talk about all the depression, dude. I have well, absolutely been. I've been depressed before. <laughs> I don't think I'm. De- I'm not depressed right now, but I have been absolutely in the past a thousand percent. Numerous times in my life. Yeah. Did and you? I, did I you, battle out that shit myself every time. Did you get help? Nope. You just worked yourself through it. I did every single time, man. <laughs> Made it. There you go. I'm a. I'm proof that you can do it without help, but I'm sure. Uh, I am a thousand percent sure that it's fucking easier with help. Y- you may. You may always get through it, but you'll get through it faster if you have someone guiding you through it. Yo. This is this has been a good episode. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like this has been a very good yeah, episode. Sure. If you're feeling depressed, man, uh, find a number. If you feel like you're hearing voices in your head, go see if find you have a, a tumor. See if you have a tumor. Yeah, because find a way. number. Find still? a number. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's 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 very good. Yeah, we got a couple minutes left. You anything you want to touch on? Do I? No, dude. I was. I feel. I feel pretty good. I feel like we put a bow on this bad boy. I yeah. feel like uh, we come come through. Yeah, did we? We've, uh, we? We went from the positive to the negative to the positive to the insightful. Ooh. I'm, I'm you know, entertained. every so often, we drop we drop some fucking knowledge in this piece. Yeah. Or some life tips. Oh, yeah. Or some dad advice. Oh, dude, I love it, Jonah. I love it when you suck our own dicks. <laughs> I do, I do. When, when I suck <laughs> our own dicks. Yeah. So I'm doing both of them? <laughs> I love it. Just please go ahead. Oh my god! Keep on, keep on filleting us. Keep sucking our dicks, dude. Oh, it's cool. that, that makes it sound so much worse than I. Oh, why does it sound worse? Wow! Wow! <laughs> just, just ride our dicks, Joe. This is all the way to. There's no riding cock. We're dude. dick riding ourselves a little bit. <laughs> oh, dude, sometimes we come with some fire. Yeah. Today. Today we did. We're talking right. about tumor brains, and we're talking tumor about brains. about the inside of our own noggins, dude. <laughs> Manifesting destiny inside our destinations. <laughs> <Is that okay? laughs> it, it was great. All right. <laughs> Love it. All right. We'll wrap this one up. So, everybody, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not done that on our YouTube channel. This guy's on Twitch. Team Team Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central AM. New, New York? Did you say New York? I said, yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, boy. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Come and hang out with your boy live. Yes. Probably, and uh, for probably Jonas, TNT. we will catch you on the next episode. We are uh, yeah. out. Uh,